instead in an artistic field uh, in an artistic situation nobody cares about your skills because not everybody will uh, understand what you're doing it's like if Usain Bolt instead of um, doing the Olympics would have posted videos of him running in the streets saying I'm I run faster than anybody else in the world nobody would have cared okay because it's just oh, okay whatever or maybe you will watch the video and then say uh, okay great but you'll never buy anything from that guy that runs fast you know so it's the same thing here where we play drums we do a video of us playing super fast put it out and expect people you know things to happen these are the two main things and when you're in an artistic situation um, you will have to produce energy because that's the product that an artist creates when you create art in general you create emotions you create energy and if you can share if you find a good way to share that energy then um, you will win you will get the attention and you will be able to communicate to hundred thousands thousands millions of people that will embrace that energy that you're producing but that has nothing to do with your skills most of the times you know um, your skills are in service of what you're doing so um, it's a very important topic it's something very important that I think a lot of people should um, learn about before going too far into uh, drumming and, and, and you know into anything actually they, they, they're going to invest and spend a lot of time in because um, if not you will just have a lot of confusion going on and you won't be able to understand which is the right path what choice should I make should I write this part in this way should I make the video in that way should I put the camera in this other way um, once you know okay I want to showcase this so you will know everything you will know how to write what to write where to uh, promote it how to film it and so on instead when you're producing art then it'll, you make other choices you'll go like okay this part needs a very easy drum part because guitar has, needs more space because I want to create an you know a situation of um, where there's a lot of space between the notes and, and all you know depending on whatever you're doing art versus technicality is this is the main thing let's not confuse let's not put these two things together because it's not going to take a us anywhere we can produce art that requires a lot of technicality and that might happen a lot of kind of music need that other kind of music ev don't eventually need all that you know technical skills an example of a band that had a huge success uh, with very basic things are Nirvana for example okay they didn't have a huge production for the live show they didn't have um, a, a, like a, a huge production of lights a huge production of you know like as Kiss uh, did and um, and all that stuff uh, they didn't write super hard music grunge music is pretty was pretty simple was pretty you know but there was a lot of energy there was a lot of expression there was a lot of uh, you know honesty in what they were doing and that caught people uh, attention in those years because that's what it, it was needed probably it, like Kurt Cobain and Nirvana managed to reach out to the youth and, and, and an audience that in that time was working out um, and same thing for many other artists of course then every situation is different so Kiss, for example, did their what they did because of you know also of their image and also of their um, all the production that they had, and that was part of their piece of art. You know, as uh, Michael Jackson with the dancing, that was another. You know, um, art doesn't come only in one form. So um, music can be sustained by the image, the vision, the visuals. Visuals um, can sustain by other stuff like dancing and all that stuff so uh, when you write a piece of art you see the bigger picture rather than just the instrument yourself um, but it's again very important not to confuse these things not to put these things together because if not it will fail and I see a lot of people doing this I see a lot of people um, 
putting writing music, putting in all their skills, reaching out an audience that don't understand and don't care about what's happening, and they fail. So uh, make your choices, go back to the roots, go back to the first day that you said, I want to be a drummer, I want to be a musician, I want to do this, and understand why, and then stay on that path. That's probably the real motivations why you um, you started everything. If it was like, oh, I, I would used to watch a million drum videos, drum solos every day, and I m m my idols were uh, Vinnie the Dave Weggles, Steve Gadd, but all those guys, and so um, you maybe are more into the drum set and the drum kit itself, um, or if you if what the reason why you started was a band was a singer was you know a live show that you saw and so you got uh, caught up with drums and started playing drums but you spend most of your time writing music and, and don't really care about the drum itself but more of the music then you probably want to be more in an artistic field um, but then you look inside yourself and you figure it out by yourself um, but yeah, I think it was very. It's very important to know these things and to clarify a little bit um, which are which roles you can uh, have and which path you can take with the, this um, instrument. And both journeys are great, um, but it's good to know exactly where you're leading to. So have a good practice, and I'll see you next time.